Hi everybody, I'm Amy, this is my wife Maggie, Hello. and together we are Thinker Thema. And guess what arrived at our door last week? It is the deluxe edition of the Castles of Burgundy by Awakened Realms. And we did cover the prototype. We did, yes. But now we have played with the real thing, all in, playmat, acrylic, miniatures, everything that you would want to check out we have yeah. now been able to experience and we have some thoughts about yeah, yeah. Uh, some preferences some even. preferences maggie mm -hmm. was uh quite excited when <sighs> we were unboxing look it arrived by kangaroo um and that poor kangaroo that was one massive box <laughs> <laughs> but very very uh, very grateful um for that well, as soon as i opened it i started like unpacking all the different boxes and kind of bringing out the little sort of the little trays of black i was like it's so beautiful. Like I, this will definitely make me want to play this way more. Just like the 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 tactileness of the components, the brightness of the colors. It's just yeah. yeah. And it's got to be one of the most deluxe games that we own now. Yeah. So you know, the last game that really blew us away from production quality was uh, Wonderland. Wonderland's Wall, yeah. uh, when we went all in and we got all the acrylic chips and everything. Mm -hmm. um, this is also just at that yeah. next level of high quality. Um, but yeah, we'll talk through all yeah. of that. Um, it is a huge step up from if you had the original Castles of Burgundy or the anniversary edition of Castles of Burgundy. This is like next yeah. tier yeah, yeah, yeah. quality. But we're not going to compare old to new. We've done that in a video before. Um, so check out our video about the prototype where we compare, you know, the increase in size of the tiles mm -hmm. and that type of thing. We'll link to that below if you haven't seen that video. Um, but for now, we're going to focus on the differences between all of the components that came in this all-in edition. So one element that we didn't have when we looked at the prototype were the acrylic tiles. Yes. Which are our favorite component, spoiler alert. I think so by <laughs> far. I think that was the most wow uh, element. As soon as I picked up, yeah, one of those, like the acrylic tiles, I was like, ah, oh, they are they stunning. Are, they feel great. They are the the printing itself it's just so beautiful so vibrant the colors the definition i was also very um very impressed by um yeah they're I, beautiful I really especially them. actually the vineyard expansion yeah. so yeah. um and oh, if you want to learn more There's about like how the tokens. vineyard expansion plays that's in our previous video as well mm. but the tokens for that every time i collect one of these tokens that has yeah. grapes on it I'm just blown away. I'm just like, this, this is so pretty. And because it is about yeah. matching colors in that expansion, mm. it just makes it all that more immersive. I just really love that. It's just so much more satisfying even, and, and not just with the vine tiles, but the actual, just the regular tiles. It just, every time I pick one up, I'm like, oh, They're yes. so beautiful. So it's, and, it, and that is the most common element in the game is you're constantly picking up uh, tiles what? and sorting tiles. And even, yes. like, even when you're like using the bag and sorting through them, it's like, mm, they feel so good. And when we were talking about backing this game in back chat and we were trying to decide between the levels of which to back, um, that's what we we mentioned is that it is the element that you touch the most and mm. so it is worth the upgrade because you're constantly going to come into contact yes. with it and we'll talk a bit more about the nuance of all of this yeah um, but one other thing I wanted to add about the acrylic tiles is that they actually add a lot of function to the game because well two things two practical elements when you place a one of these tokens into the um, this new plastic acrylic board. So um, if you haven't seen that before, there's this little sheet that sits on top of the duchy, mm. which allows you to then slot in the tiles. Yeah. The thing with a cardboard is they're not as tall as the acrylic. And yes. so when you put a cardboard tile in and you make a mistake, it's a little harder to get that tile back out again. You have to have fingernails, which, you know, I'm okay with. They sit flush. They sit very so flush. So you kind of have to, yeah, go in and dig them Where, in. Yeah, whereas this tile, these tiles, they sit a bit higher. And so it's much easier to just press on one side of the tile and mm. pick it back up again, which is, you know, inevitably you do make mistakes in this game mm. where you're like, oh, no, I need to reverse the order of that yeah. I shouldn't have put that tile down um, and so it might, makes it much easier yeah. but if you're not like a forgiving opponent then you might be like no 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 that tile is down <laughs> you can no it's longer there pick forever. it back up it's there forever <laughs> um, so that is one thing to note the other practicality is um, that it's easier to see uh, what color yes. the, the tiles are and that that's helpful for in two ways one just in like 
the everyday plane, you can、mm. straight away see because the edges of the、mm. acrylic tiles are the same color. Yeah. Uh, whereas with the cardboard, you've got that like cardboard part that all looks the same.、Yeah. It's much easier when you're picking up to know where that goes,、um, but also in the cleanup. And you、yeah. do have to do a lot of cleanup in this yeah. game. Yeah, yeah.、Um, and in sorting out the black tiles from the coloured tiles, it may be the difference of only a few seconds,、yeah. a few microseconds. Yeah, yeah. But it's, every- not, it's not going to all of a sudden make time for a whole new hobby that you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But but it's helpful, and it just it just、helpful. adds to the to the I guess to the delight. Uh, or, or the,、uh, what it called, reduces the friction that you can sometimes have with admin elements of a game. It's so、yeah. easy when you're packing up the game because you've made a pile of leftover tiles at the end. You're just throwing them in the bags,、mm. and it just it's just a slight it's just slightly faster. Yeah. And if you if that's your thing, if you're really focused on like just spending more time playing and less time doing admin,、mm. then I think you're really going to enjoy、yeah. that part of it. One thing that is、um, a bit of a wait and see is when I. First started、uh, taking the tiles out. I realized some of them had almost like a little film、um, on them that looked like it might be、uh, scratched, almost like the 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 printing, the silk or whatever sort of、mm. sheet of.、Uh, Cover that goes on there was a bit scratched, but then I, I sort of run my finger through it, and that seemed to sort of come off. So I'm not sure if there's going to be some scratching of those surfaces after we've been playing with them. I haven't really found any any issues, so maybe it was just part of the manufacturing、uh, sort of process. Because my concern was obviously because you have them and you're kind of shaking、mm. them and, and making them kind of clank and,、uh, against each other. That I was like, oh, the longevity of the yeah, image, the longevity. Yeah. So it's still a bit of a wait and see, but. But、what I will say is, as we've been playing, that seems to have resolved mostly. Like I don't seem to see any that are like chipped or anything like I that. I mean, I don't have the attention to detail for that because it ha- I haven't noticed it. it hasn't、mm. bothered me.、Um, it was just something that I noticed when I first pulled them out. I was like, oh, is that going to、mm. be an issue? But it seemed to maybe. Be resolving again. It's a wait and see. So we'll yeah. yeah, but it's definitely the fact that the image is very baked in, so it doesn't、mm-hmm. feel like anything is going to peel or come off with the image. But、yeah. yes, definitely there might be little、yeah. scratches along the way. So we'll see how they、um, yeah. How long? How well they stand up is what I was trying to say. <laughs>、um, but the one issue that we did have, there was an issue with the acrylic、oh, tiles,、yes. and this is just something that is going to be personal preference.、Uh, but we'll talk about it anyway.、Um, so a, a few people have mentioned, you know, there's obviously a difference between the cardboard tiles and the acrylic tiles in that the cardboard tiles have now have on the back of them. The power that's associated、mm. with them. So this monastery, for example, will tell you that at the end game you'll score four VP for each of your warehouses,、mm. and you can see that on the other side there is iconography where it says four per warehouse. But the iconography for this particular type of monastery is actually. It relies on you being able to see what that building is. Yeah. So you need to pre- be pretty close to it to be、mm. able to tell what that is. Which、and、is the- fine if you have it right in front of you. But if it's on the board and you have a like a you know four player game and so you're a little bit、yes. further away, like it's trickier to kind of go. Yeah, and the issue is though that with the printed、um, description on the back, you could just flip it over and be like warehouse. Okay,、mm. great. That was that one relates to the warehouse. Obviously, with the acrylic tiles, you can't do that.、Um, but also, the image quality is slight. Well,、oh, I don't know if it's pretty much the same, but it's pretty much the same. But it seems but like it's, it's a little、so、bit tiny. Yeah, it's a little bit smaller. It feels. Yeah, this yeah. image is so tiny, and so a lot of people have talked about. You know, is it a problem that? The acrylic tiles didn't have the、uh, the wording on here, and yes, you could overcome that by putting stickers on or something. You could、mm. definitely hack that yourself. I'm sure someone will offer those stickers at some <laughs> point.、Um, but while we were playing, I the only time it bothered me was for these particular、yeah. end game scoring goals because the game does come with this wonderful little player aid that describes all of the monasteries, all of the buildings,、mm. and the special the special tiles that give you different abilities. And I found. It just as easy to look at this、yeah. rather than reach over, turn over, and find out what a tile did. I could just look at it and not not disrupt other people's yeah. turns yeah, as well、yeah. by just being like, "Oh, sorry, I just want to turn that over and see what that is."、Mm. Um, some people are going to enjoy that. I, I must say, I did like it when we were playing with it. It, it does it does help it helps when、um, we were playing with the prototype.、Yeah. It did help, especially if you're new to the game or it's been、mm. a while since you played. It's very easy to flip those over. 
Yeah, but um, it's not the end of the world because you do have this, and then yeah, you can just put stickers if you yeah. if you want. So this yeah. is very useful, but yeah, when it came to this is the only thing that actually quite got to me when I was playing with the acrylic tiles. It's just like I don't know what building that is. It's so tiny. So. Most of them, particularly with yeah, with the monasteries, mo most of them have pretty good iconography. Is just those ones of four points per type of building because mm -hmm. yeah. That's trickier to see. Which brings us to the miniatures. The minis. The minis they sent us were the sun drop edition. So mm -hmm. um, they have that pre-applied wash, mm -hmm. of course, to bring out the detail mm -hmm. in these minis. And yeah. my goodness, they are detailed. They, yeah. Look, even in the prototype, they were, I was quite impressed and hoping that the final product would be just as detailed. I think it's even more detailed. It is. So yeah. it's just like every single mini. It's, it's actually really nice if you've been playing the game a long time and you're familiar with the building seeing those buildings come to life in yeah. 3d with such detail is like oh yes this is, like that's pretty cool and they are gorgeous there's no yeah. doubt it's undeniable they add something to the presence of the game it's going to look much better on yeah. the table anytime you have minis it draws attention to your well, table it literally becomes a 3d like it sort of elevates the 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 gameplay and it's just yeah you now have an actual you can 3d see it city. coming to life yeah, like yeah. a real 3d duchy absolutely <laughs> but if you're someone who values those microseconds that i was talking about earlier mm -hmm. it certainly is a let's say it's a little bit cumbersome to play with because what happens is you still require the tiles because the tiles have more yeah. information on them and then once you've built them onto your duchy, you're going to replace the tile with the mini. Mm. So there is an extra step that you're adding yes. in order to find the right mini. And that's going to be tricky because they are individualized um, in most cases, we'll come back to mm -hmm. that, uh, to the building. Yes. And so you are going to have to find the right building or you're going to have to find the three sheep, not the four sheep. Yes. Which and sometimes is a little bit of like, nope, that's not it. Not no, that one. That's not, not it. That, that one. Uh, uh, yeah. Nope, that's a goat. Um, yeah. And so there was a little bit of backwards and forwards where I was like Maggie can you find me this tile mm. while I was finishing up my turn she would be looking for the mini so yeah you can do some of that in parallel but there's no escaping the fact that it does add this element that is not gameplay related. yeah it adds an, a friction element of admin uh, exactly to it. which if you if you're the type of player that just loves to just take your time and like have a look at this and place an order for I need four sheep <laughs> um, then, then like that's fine but if you're like kind of going you know go 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 let's let's have a and particularly for me because I like to just immerse myself in what am I doing and so having to just like stop break concentration and go oh yeah I need to get you a this then it means that then I kind of have to go back and well, what was I doing and so it does add that little element but again yeah. it's sort of like the it's uh, a balance, it's and it's going to be personal preference. Yeah, because yeah. you know, if you're hosting a game night, mm. you might be the person that has all the minis to the side, and you can help people yeah. like just replace them while they're playing. Um, and obviously, it's going to add something—a bit of drama. Adds a bit of drama <laughs> to the game with those giant sheep and the giant pigs. Well, I just sort of realized, like, the scale of like the sheep to the building. It's like the sheep is the height of the building. You'd be like, you'd be in that building going, "Oh my, is that coming towards us?" There's What's more of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's a it's a menace, uh, but they are they are really cool though. Like they're really beautiful. They're super cute as yes. well. Like in the yeah in the top. But and if you can get over the fact that it does add this little bit of um, admin time, mm -hmm. there was one element that again comes back to the monasteries. The monasteries were mm. my bugbear in this game. <laughs> yeah. um, but so with the monasteries, here's the cardboard version. Here's the um, acrylic version, and then we have this beautiful miniature. Mm. However. The miniature is the same no matter which monastery you're building. Mm. And uh, if you're familiar with this game, you'll know that each monastery has a different power that mm. usually gives you an advantage throughout the game, something you can activate, or gives you end of game scoring points. But it's important that you remember what those things are. Yeah. And so you're going to be building out your board with these new miniatures but you still need to remember what your powers are that you have available to you. And so you still need the tile to be sitting off the side of your board. And for some people that might be a bit disruptive because you've been playing the game where you've built it and you remember it's there. For me, I'm a very like 
location based kind of yeah i will look for the information in the place where i put it and so a couple of times when we were playing with the minis i had it off to the side and i completely forgot that i had mm. that ability available well, to me i guess because you're always kind of looking at the board as you're placing and you're planning and so you just would end up having to have yeah the reference like on the side and going oh that's right i need to aim for this or i need to aim for that mm. yeah so and which means you could use you know the miniatures in combination with the um the, the, cardboard. the cardboard so that you have the description on the back mm. so you know you could find the right combination that works for you yeah but that's just something to be wary of because with mm. the other buildings so other buildings that have special powers they all have an uh, individualized mm. mini and so once you've learned what that mini looks like yeah. so once the i shape yeah, yeah exactly once i look i've figured that out it took a Watch little while or, yeah, or, yeah yeah it's like oh, the market. straight away yeah um i know what that does and what that is but that's just something to note um about the miniature version and the final point of feedback about the the miniatures is that in the sun dropped edition obviously it adds this layer um of color yeah. to it so it adds like the a oh, wash yeah. that brings out the detail but the wash or also mutes down the tones of the colors mm -hmm. and what happened actually is that it brings the beige or the brown buildings mm. um to a much similar shade as the gray mines yeah and that actually added more than a couple of times some confusion to me one where i made quite a bad error um where we we restarted because we were into round one and i made such a bad error that i was like can we just we just need to start that again because the adjacencies are all wrong um but <laughs> <laughs> i really messed up um but part of that is because of the visual confusion i, I think it was like a how can you have a castle next to a castle and then like there was the whole lifting of the time going Oh, oh no, no I've made a huge color. mistake. Like everything, every adjacency had ended up kind of going a yeah. bit. Yeah, and it's because the colors of the duchy actually are very vibrant yes. and the colors of the, the acrylic tiles and the cardboard are also very vibrant, bringing in this sun drop um, kind of uh, mm. wash, wash I keep shades. forgetting the word, yeah. wash shades. It makes the burgundy, the gray and the brown look fairly similar. And therefore it's harder to, it was harder for me to tell whether I'd completed a section. Mm -hmm. And I found myself lifting up the minis to see the color underneath. Mm. And so if it's not washed, obviously the minis are going to be much brighter and more yep. vibrant. And it's kind of, again, a personal preference thing. Mm. It's like, if you if you prefer to, for it to look better, then obviously a wash is gonna be amazing and it yeah. does bring out the details so much yeah. more. And I like it so much more mm -hmm. than the unwashed minis. Mm -hmm. But if you're the kind of person that just want a really seamless play experience well one you're probably not going to be using the minis anyway yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you're probably yeah the most seamless experience yeah, is without the would, minis would be with the tiles but if you are you might just... want yeah the unwashed non-sun drop yep. edition so those are kind of our thoughts for our player preferences mm. we we love the tactileness and all of those practical elements that mm. the um and also the the beauty of the acrylic tile. I, I just love the acrylic tiles. I think, yeah, my, my preference is actually the acrylic tiles because I also just love the vibrancy of mm -hmm. the colors and I love the tactile nature of them. As soon as I kind of pick one up, it's like, it just feels so And drawing satisfying. them out of the bag, everything yeah, mixing about them, them in the bag and like, yeah, so they're by far, even without the Without the, the description on the back, back I yeah. still prefer them and I'm exactly. happy to, to refer to the player aid. Forgo the yeah. description for the acrylic. Yeah. Um, and now we just want to touch on a couple of little things that we had mentioned in videos past because mm -hmm. if you've watched our back chat video and then our prototype video there are a couple of things that we talked about in those videos that we just wanted to you know regroup and now that we have the final thing to talk about mm -hmm. number one our biggest criticism of the prototype were the dice yes. uh, because the dice had a, a very thematic design to them that we found was just not useful in no. practice. Um, it was really confusing to count the number of pips. And in fact, in the prototype video, we said, if these dice come with the game, we will replace the yeah. dice because yeah. it was not good. But luckily they listened. And so now the dice, they still have a bit of a decoration in the form of just like a little kind of ringlet thing around, mm -hmm. um, around like the, the sort pips. of single, around yeah. the pips. But then the pips are kind of been left 
mostly just by themselves. So it is, I didn't have any issues. I didn't kind have of a glancing single over, issue. Even with the white dye, kind of going, oh, what's the white dye if I need to use it? And yeah, so that was zero addressed. issues with that. So that yeah. has been completely addressed. Don't worry that's about cool. the dice. That's great. Yep. The other thing that we pointed <laughs> out in our video were the um, scoring tiles that you gain yes. when you've completed all of one color um, and you take the top tile and then the second tile. In the prototype, they were the inverse colors of each other and it was so confusing. It was a nightmare. It was so confusing. It was just such a small detail, yeah. but I couldn't quickly see which one belonged to which pile. Not even slowly. Even Not even just quickly. It was just slowly <laughs> just going I genuinely them. don't know which color is meant to be which because the color combos were just so confusing. Yeah. That's been addressed. That well. has been completely addressed mm -hmm. and now that is not an issue. Very clear. It's very clear. You can see here mm -hmm. that um, especially with the acrylic where, you know, as we mentioned, the sides are also the same color. You mm -hmm. can very quickly stack them. No problems there. You yeah. can see who has what. Great. Yes. Another fix. Yeah. So good. And then the final thing in back chat, we talked about, you know, whether you should get the play mat or mm, not. Yeah. And the neoprene mat. The, mm -hmm. Yeah. The, the neoprene mat. And I had, you know, some concerns over the neoprene mat uh, because I wasn't sure if it would fit in with the rest of the mm. game. And, and uh, yeah, because yeah. you're like, oh, I think I'd rather just, if it's going to be cardboard, everything, uh, everything be cardboard. cardboard. Yep. But very happy to say this is an extremely high quality play mat. Um, so sometimes with yeah. uh, play mats, the resolution can be a little worse and the numbers can look not quite mm. crisp. Uh, but this one, no problems, is yeah. really beautiful and it's reversible as well. So, well, just, yeah, like so the you board. Have just like the board, the two player and then the three or four player side. But it's just the printing quality is so sharp. The color is so bright and it's just... Yeah, and, and even though you're not collecting, you're not picking up any cards, which is usually one of the best things mm. with neoprene, I still really like it. Like, I still really, like, I prefer playing with it. It's soft, it's nice, it's a good size, yeah. very happy. Mm. Um, and so that is our wrap-up of Castles of Burgundy, the deluxe edition. If you have any other questions about it, please drop them in the comments below and we will make sure that we get back to you with any thoughts um, or we can check out other components that are in the box from any of the expansions for you. Um, I know a lot of you are eagerly awaiting your deliveries. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Yeah. They have really like put a lot of thought and effort into this and we yeah. can happily say so uh, thank you so much for watching if you're not a subscriber of our channel please subscribe it really helps us out like the video if this was helpful and we'll be back with more board game content soon but otherwise bye for now bye <laughs>